Hello everybody, my name is the Deuteron Doctor, and today we're going to be talking about how to play the L3 Nozzle Nose. The first thing to know about the L3 Nozzle Nose is, while it does fire in bursts of three, it does take four bullets to actually kill somebody. And the main way to use this weapon, in my personal opinion, would probably be to jump while you do it. So I would probably try to watch out for your spread of the weapon, because it increases just like blasters when you jump, and it doesn't really work out very well so I would definitely try to negate that as much as possible the best way to aim with this weapon is to aim a little bit higher than your intended target unless you're close enough because it is going to get a little bit more distance if you aim it a little bit higher at least from my personal experience it does I could be wrong but it's a pretty fun weapon to play I prefer the H3 a little bit more but the L3 is still fun to play you can play it pretty defensively. If the D variant was in the game, you could play it more offensively. It's overall a pretty fun weapon. It's hard to master the rhythm for the three fire burst, but if you get it down, it's really a good weapon. I wouldn't say it's meta or anything, but it, it's fun. It's and it's pretty decent for the meta right now. Anyways, that's all I really have to say for aiming or basic use of the weapon other than practicing in the practice area for aiming that's just given your kit for the l3 nozzle nose is going to be curling bomb and crab tank curling bomb is pretty easy to use you can use it for a lot of travel basically that's its main function and the more you charge it the bigger the explosion is and the faster it explodes and the less distance it travels so if you ever want to time it like a splat bomb, it's going to take a, a bit longer. It'll probably take like two or three seconds to charge all the way. But you can still aim it like a splat bomb or like a torpedo if you throw it on the ground. So it does have use still. You can still use it in a normal bomb sense. It just takes a lot longer. The crab tank is pretty fun to use. I'm not good at it, but it's fun to use. So... When you use crab tank, the first thing I'm going to say is don't go forward and back. It's not meant for that. If you need to travel forward and back, I would suggest using the ball form. Because it's going to protect you and it lets you travel faster. When you go forward and back, it only moves a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. So you're significantly decreasing the value of the crab tank by not letting it be mobile. Also, when you move side to side, and that's the reason I didn't say not to move side to side when you move side to side it moves fast because it's a crab that's what they're meant to do so if you move side to side you'll be fine i mean it's not as fast as the ball form but it's still pretty fast for you know being a giant tank so i would use it and remember the bombs do pack a punch and you can fire bombs while you're rapid firing sure you won't get to the maximum fire speed of the rapid fire but firing a giant bomb that can instantly kill anybody it explodes on is a lot more effective at dealing with like other specials or somebody that has a dynamo for example stuff like that rapid fire can be used for fast enemies like ink brush etc etc or you could use bomb it really depends on the situation but yeah that's the kit for the l3 nozzle the best gear for the L3 nozzle nose is probably going to be ink recovery up. The reason for ink recovery up is because while the L3 nozzle nose is extremely ink efficient, you can fire 100 bullets before you have to recharge anything. The reason for it is because you're a mobile weapon. So the more ink you can recharge in a smaller amount of time so you don't have to go hide, refill, etc., come back, the faster you can do that, the better. The next one is run speed up. L3 and H3 nozzle nose have amazing strafe speeds. Not, I don't think they're the best in the game, but I think they're really good. And you can travel really fast while firing. And run speed up is just going to make that even better. Because even when you're not firing, you're going to be even faster. And having run speed up is just going to help with it overall. It's just good. I would recommend a little bit of swim speed up. Not a lot. Don't put a lot on it. Swim speed up only because it's the fastest way of travel. And you need to be at a certain distance to get the most out of the L3 nozzle nose. The next thing I would recommend for the L3 nozzle nose is going to be intensify action. 
it's going to help the accuracy of the weapon just automatically because it's like a blaster where the spread of the bullets go absolutely haywire the second you jump so if you have a lot of intensify action you're going to be able to bank off the fact that you have almost perfect perfect accuracy well not perfect but perfect spread like the little the smallest amount of spread you can have on the weapon and that's going to make you a lot more reliable in terms of kills that's everything for gear that i have there's not really anything else that i would recommend for it the next thing i want to talk about is going to be the best maps for the l3 nozzle nose which i think depending on how you play the weapon each map could be better or worse it just really depends on your gameplay like if you play it really aggressively I would say Wahoo World, Inkblot, Sturgeon Shipyard, Mahi Mahi, and Hagglefish would be good. But if you play it kind of defensively, I'd say Undertow Spillway, I'd say Dolphoncino, I'd say uh, Hammerhead Bridge and Mincemeat Metalworks. But again, that really depends on how you play it. And this is from my own personal experience. I could be wrong. Again, I, I have no problems with anyone calling me out in the comments if I'm wrong let me know anyways the next thing i want to talk about is going to be modes i think l3 nozzle nose has a lot of use but i think it depends on again the play style of you playing l3 nozzle nose. do i think it's good in rainmaker i don't really think so because it's slower kill time compared to most other weapons that play rainmaker Plus, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage to the shield. Do I think it's good in tower control? Yes, but no. I think it's good in tower control weapon-wise. Weapon-wise, yes. I think the sub for the Krilling Bomb could definitely also be useful in tower control. I don't think, personally, the Crab Tank is because of that little pillar in the middle of the tower. Basically can negate the effects of the Crab Tank itself. But it can be good for pushing the tower forward. So it basically depends on where you position yourself for tower control. Splat zones, I don't think it's just gonna I don't think it's gonna be good really at all, because mainly all you're gonna be able to do is kill people and you're not gonna be able to cover the zone in your color event. It, it, that's pretty much what I think about splat zones. And then plane blitz, yeah, I think it has some use. I think crab tank can be used to help your teammates stay alive when the enemies come back to their basket when you're attacking them. So let's say they pop we pop their shield and then they re all respawn they're right there i can use my crab tank keep my teammates alive or kind of become a main super jump spot for them now it won't always work because they might surround me and kill me but you get the point it will help even if it isn't the best paint anyways uh my general thoughts on the l3 nozzle nose is again it's a great weapon I, well not a great weapon it's a good weapon i prefer the h3 but if somebody really really knows what they're doing with this weapon i would be scared of them anyway my name is the deuteron doctor and i will see you later bye